guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Seneca Red, and I don't know why I keep making makeup videos because I'm not very good at them. So I promised everybody during Vlogmas that I had a couple eyeshadow palettes that I was going to do and never did them because I'm going to sound like Colleen Ballinger, but I'm pregnant so I didn't... Wow, she was very annoying. I don't want to be that annoying. Whatever. I was sick and I did not do what I was going to do, so whatever. Anyway, I have the Too Faced Sugar Cookie like mini palette and it has eight shadows. So they have the eight shades in there and I'll show you what it looks like open. When I saw that Too Faced had this palette, I was like, yeah, that's going to be mine. And I actually ordered it online, which I hate doing, but I didn't find it at stores at all. And then as soon as I ordered it online, where was it? In the stores. So. I'm really excited though. I love Too Faced eyeshadow. I love any type of eyeshadow, but I definitely love Too Faced eyeshadow. So I have a mirror up on the window here, so hopefully it won't fall. So if it falls, sorry in advance. So I recently ran out of primer and I really wanted to try a different type that I've never tried before. So I found Too Faced and I got the Hangover primer. I do like it. It almost feels more like a moisturizer than a like an actual primer, which I like because my skin is always dry anyway. So it has coconut water, probiotic based ingredients, and skin revivers. Woo! So that's fun. It's also silicone free. And I really only use two pumps and that does the job. So normally I do it cosmetics foundation but my skin is pale because it's winter and I always get like use that more in the summer so it's a little bit darker so I finally just switched over back to um, a Mary Kay foundation it is the matte wear liquid foundation and I like it I mean it's pretty lightweight if you want a lot of coverage you have to put a lot on but it's just it's more it's beige 3 and it's combination to oily skin Buildable coverage, suitable for sensitive skin, oil-free, and I just put it on my brush and just go around my face. I've gotten to the point where I really don't want a lot of, like, heavy coverage anymore. I don't know if it's just because I'm feeling a little bit more confident, like, with my skin, and I don't have, like, a lot of acne. I should have put my contacts in. I did not think this through. But no, I don't have a lot of acne anymore, which I'm very grateful for. It only took like 27 years, so there is hope for those of you out there who think it's never going to go away. It eventually does. Maybe, maybe it's because I'm pregnant. Maybe as soon as I have this kid, I'm just going to be like zit, 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 zit. So I hope that doesn't happen because... I really like my skin right now and I'm pretty proud of it. So foundation, as you can see, just a nice even tone. It's a little bit dark, but it's nothing like too extreme, you know? So I have the MAC Studio Fix powder. So this is my lighter powder that I would put on afterwards. You can see I've used it quite a bit. I do like it. It's a nice coverage and it's not really like a cakey or like clumpy feel and like I said look, my skin's doing better I definitely am more dry in the winter but this doesn't really seem to like cake anywhere and I'm pretty happy with it for my powder I just have like a little cheapy makeup brush from Walmart because one time I went home to West Virginia and I forgot almost all my makeup I think or I forgot my brushes I can't remember I forgot something major so I had to go out and buy a set of brushes so I just bought a little cheapy pair and I like it I mean I use it every day so I'm gonna put my brows on now so I am still using the gimme brow brow mascara this is in the shade one I also have like the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow liner pencil but I've just noticed that I've just been going to this a little bit more and just kinda of putting it right on there and it works pretty nice like you know I don't really need much this is just an everyday makeup look nothing super fancy there you go so that didn't look too bad alright so here is my face a little bit closer up and my brows powder set in all that stuff 
Now for the fun part. I'm so excited. I haven't used this yet. I've been waiting for a video to try it out and I'm super pumped. So let's open it. Okay, so this is the front. You can see it's raised pattern, has all your little cookies. And then the back has the names of every shade. And there's eight shades. And it's got another picture of the cookie on the back. I'm so excited <laughs> already. Oh. Okay, <laughs> that was bad. Oh my gosh, it smells like cookies. <sighs> Too Faced is really good about that. Like, all their eyeshadow palettes smell like what their shadow palette is. Like the peach, oh my gosh, it still smells. Like, I love it. So you can see the eight shades, and they're very pretty. They're more, of course, more of like the Christmassy, like a little bit more like of a darker color. Definitely some glittery, glittery colors in there. Put my mirror back up because my mirror fell. <clears throat> Alright, so now I'm super blind. So disclaimer if this is blurry, I can't see ya. <laughs> So I don't have any eyeshadow primer, I've just kind of, like I said, this is an everyday wear, so I'm just, I really don't put eyeshadow primer on unless I'm like doing something really big and fancy. So I believe this is the shade Milk and Cookies, and I'm going to put that on first. You can see how blind I am for how closely I have to put this up to me. So you definitely want to tap it, there's a lot of loose powder that comes off of your brush. I'm just going to go bold. I believe this one's called Half Baked. I'm going to put this shade on my lid. Oh wow, I'm not really impressed with that one. So that shade, this Half Baked one, I'm surprised. I needed a lot and a lot of fallout for that one. So for my crease, there's like so much excess powder now. Okay, so for my crease, I believe this one's called Fresh from the Oven. I'm gonna use that one. And I normally just make stuff up as I go, like on everyday basis. I don't really know what I do. <laughs> I just make something happen and most of the time it looks okay. All right, that shade is really pretty. Oh my gosh, I really like that one. I believe it's called Butter and Love. I'm just going to put that shade right up at the top, just kind of highlight it a little bit. <laughs> Sorry if any of that's been blurry, but I just can't see without my glasses. So, I will come closer and take my glasses off so you can see what the shadow looks like. So, I normally don't wear mascara on an everyday basis, and I know that probably shocks some of you, but it's just, it's just the thing. I'm weird, my eyes are stupid, whatever. But I am going to put mascara on for the sake of this video so you get the full completed look. So this is a mascara that I was gifted, and I'm pretty sure, I'm not really, I think the brand is E. I'm pretty sure the brand would be the E. It's just black magic, and it's in a little tube. I like that a little bit better than your normal mascara. Alright, so now, let's make sure this is focused, I think it is, the completed look. I'm such a beauty guru. Oh my gosh, I'm so stupid. I really like it, oh my gosh. Okay, so you can kind of see it through my glasses, but that's the only bummer part. Like, I, I just have to wear glasses every day because I'm allergic to contacts. I should have put them in for this video. <laughs> anyway, that's the look. Uh, I really like this palette. I'm a little bit disappointed with this shade right here. Like, you need a lot, and there's there's a lot of fallout, which that happens anyway. It just, it takes a lot of layers, because it has, like, that glittery stuff. Maybe I just probably should have put eyeshadow primer on, and that would have helped better, but whatever. So, yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video, enjoyed the look. Again, this is the Too Faced Sugar Cookie Palette, and I did get this around Christmas time, but I'm sure you might be able to find it. It might even be on sale now on their website, but I really like it. I did see it at Ulta, though, so it might be at Ulta. So I'm really happy I got this. I'm really happy that I was able to finally do the video of it. And again, this is my look. Here, I'll zoom in. 
So there's the finished look right there. I think this video was better than the other ones. I'm not going to put any lipstick on. Normally I would, but I'm just staying at home today. So, so if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know below in the comments if you've ever tried this palette or what your favorite Too Faced palette is. And thanks so much. Definitely hit that subscribe button for more fun videos like this, baby updates, all that stuff. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!